Many people in the direct path of Hurricane Helene have evacuated their homes, and some of them are waiting out the storm right here in Alabama. Yeah, that's right. WSFA 12 News reporter Julia Avant is in Troy, and she's joining us live. Julia, we hear you're seeing lots of Florida license plates down there. That's right, Mark. Up and down 231, you see license plates from Florida traveling, along with majority of the parking spots and hotels in Troy taken up by Florida drivers. I actually caught up with a woman who recently just moved back to Tallahassee, Florida. She closed on a home end of August. She's now up here in Troy taking shelter with friends. Deborah Wilson has been monitoring the weather for the past week and made the decision with friends to take shelter in Troy. In an instant, she grabs sentimental belongings, important documents with hopes that her home will still be standing when she returns on Saturday. I, I think that since I'm in Northeast Tallahassee, I, you know, the my potential damage is from the wind and from projectile objects. Um, but there's many in Tallahassee that have a lot of trees, the old old Florida, the old canopies, the live oaks. Um, so that's that's a hard thing. Deborah tells me that a lot of friends and family are still in Florida. She said at the time that I spoke to her, they were planning on taking the precautions and staying home. I caught up with officials in Pike County who are still monitoring the weather over in Trojan Arena. They said any people that choose to take shelter out of state are in the hands of Alabama to take care of them as they take shelter and when they return back home. Mark and Val. Julia Avent reporting live in Troy for us tonight.